Okay, I'm getting ready to do part A of the stoichiometry lab for chemistry 121. So um, I only have one little balance here. It only has one decimal place and it can't weigh everything all together. So I'm having to do things a little bit differently. Um, here is my vinegar right there. And the first thing I'm gonna do is tear my watch glass. So there's my watch glass. I'm waiting for the balance to read zero. Okay, read zero. Now I'm going to put about 2.2 grams of baking soda on there. That's two. That means just a tiny bit more. Okay, maybe a little less. All right. Normally in the, <clears throat> normally in the lab we have two decimal places. <coughs> But for this, I just have one. So here is 2.3, let me see if I can tip it down, 2.3 grams of sodium bicarbonate. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And let me get my clean dry beaker. Now this balance only allows up to 200 grams. So instead of doing the whole stack together, I'm gonna do two parts and add them together. So I'm gonna zero that balance. I'm gonna put my 50 mils of acetic acid into the beaker, right? And that is acetic acid from vinegar. Right there. And I'm gonna weigh that. So this is the before measurement. We had 2.3 grams of bicarbonate, and then we have 161.5 grams is the beaker with acid, beaker with acid, and then I'm gonna weigh this all together as well. So it says zero on there now, the total mass of the glass plus the sodium bicarbonate, which I weighed was 2.3 grams. This total is 57.8 grams for the glass plus sodium bicarbonate. Okay. So next, I'm going to slowly add this in. So we have the reaction, I think we can see. And it fizzes up. Oh, I'll let it, let it react a little bit first. Okay, I'm gonna let that think about what it's done. And meanwhile, I'm gonna add these together so that I get the stack before. The stack before, wait. And that is 161.5 plus 57.8, 219.3 grams before reaction. All right, let's get the rest of this reacting. So how will we know when the reaction is done? When will it be time to weigh it again? Oh, and I can move this. So you see that reaction going on. get what I can out of here, but it's not crucial. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean because I'm going to weigh this again and I'm going to call that good. So let me, <clears throat> I'll turn on the balance again, let it tear to zero. And now I'm going to weigh the watch glass after. All right, the glass after is 55.6 grams. And then, is this done? Can you hear that? A little bit of fizzing. There's still some bubbles on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it.
Okay, I'm gonna weigh it after. It says zero. The weight of the beaker after is 162.7 grams. Okay. And that's just barely over 200, so I can't put them together. When I put it together on here, let me show you what it looks like. It says error. Oh, where is it? There it is. So that doesn't quite work, but I can do the two parts separately. Okay, that's trial one.